Hi guys, welcome to Win Civil World. This video is about surveying and the common terminologies associated with survey. On completion of this video, you will have a fair idea about what is surveying, what are the principles of surveying, what do you mean by maps and plans, what is a theodolite, what is a total station and what do you mean by leveling. What is surveying? Surveying is an engineering operation that involves assessing and recording details about an area of land. Surveying plays an important role in planning and execution of construction projects. In this module, we are going to describe about surveying and the terms and activities associated with surveying. Every civil engineer should be familiar with surveying and the terms associated with it. Let us start with setting out process. Setting out a building or a structure is the first major activity before commencing any construction. Setting out is the process of transferring the architectural plan or proposals onto the ground. Setting out establishes the building layout, plot boundaries, column locations, temporary and permanent access, etc. The setting out process requires a topographic plan or a map and an architectural drawing. Setting out is done once the site has been subjected to a survey and cleared of all debris, unwanted vegetation and obstructions. With the help of survey, the points are located on the ground and we can start the setting out process. What is surveying? Surveying is an art of determining relative position of points or objects on the surface of the earth by measuring the horizontal distance between them. What is the purpose of surveying? To collect the field data, to prepare plan and map of an area, to analyze and calculate field parameters, to interpret and transfer the plans and drawings to the ground. What are the principles of survey? There are two fundamental principles of survey. The first one is surveying from whole to part. The second one is location of a point by measurement from two points of reference. Maps and plans play a major role in surveying and civil construction. The main objective of surveying is to determine the relative positions of various objects. Such representations interpreted on a paper is called plan or a map. What are maps? A map is a visual representation of an area drawn on a flat surface according to a scale. What is a scale? Scale is the fixed ratio of distance on the map to the corresponding distance on the earth. A scale of 1 in 100 means representation of an object that is 100 times smaller. Example, 100 units are represented as 1 unit in the plan. What is a plan? A plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale. A plan gives confined information about a certain area. What is a theodolite? Theodolite is an optical surveying instrument that is used to measure vertical angles and horizontal angles. Theodolite is also used for indirect measurement of distances. The line of sight of a theodolite can be rotated through 180 degree in its horizontal axis and vertical plane. Please refer this drawing to find out the main parts of a theodolite. What are the uses of theodolite? Theodolite is used to measure the horizontal and vertical angles. They are used for location of points on the lines. Theodolite helps in prolonging survey lines. They are used for setting out grids 
They are used for finding the level difference between two points and they are used for ranging of curves. What is a total station? Total station is a preeminent contribution to modern survey. Total stations are more versatile, accurate and efficient than digital theodolites. Total stations are lightweight and compact. Total stations are used for computing slant distances, horizontal and vertical angles, elevations in topographic and geodetic works, tachymetric surveys, etc. Total stations are a combination of theodolite technology with that of auto level and electronic distance measurement or EDM. But the major difference is in its ability to gather data electronically which can be imported to a computer. Hence we can say total station act as a substitute for theodolite or electronic distance measurement, auto level, data collector and a microprocessor. Total stations helps in computing horizontal angle, vertical angle, slope distance, coordinate of a point, missing line measurement, area calculation, contour level, etc. And that is why this, because of all these applications, total stations are used widely in construction sector nowadays. Leveling is another term associated with survey. What is leveling? Leveling is the branch of surveying used in determining relative elevation with respect to a known point. This module is about leveling and
and the terminologies associated with leveling. Leveling is the branch of surveying used in determining relative elevation with respect to a known point. That means determining a height of one level relative to another level. This point is called datum or reference surface which is the mean sea level or MSL. There will be a permanent point which is called benchmark whose elevation with respect to datum or mean sea level is known. How the relative heights are measured? Let us consider two points A and B on the earth's surface or NGL. This is the datum line which is the mean sea level or MSL and this is the benchmark whose elevation with respect to datum or mean sea level is known. Let the datum be 100 and the benchmark is 102. The staff reading at benchmark is 2 and point A is 1.5 and point B is 1. This means the point B is 0.5 meter higher than point A and 1 meter higher than benchmark. Some important terms in leveling. Let us describe about some important terms in leveling. First one is level surface. The earth's surface is spheroid or curved in nature. The two curved lines passes through two points on the natural ground level or NGL as shown in the drawing. This is the earth center and the distance between the earth center and any point of the curved line is same. This line is the datum level or mean sea level. Level surface is a curved surface that runs parallel to the spheroid surface or earth surface. This is the level surface of point A and point B. And the basic principle of leveling is that the distance between two level surfaces running through points A and B is a constant. Assume this is the location of level instrument and this is the plumb bob line which always hang in the direction of gravity and is 90 degree perpendicular to the level surface at any point. At any location, the plumb line acts in the direction of gravity. You can otherwise say level surface is a curved surface that is perpendicular to the plumb line. Another important term is level line. The line lying on the level surface is called a level line. Now coming to horizontal plane. Horizontal plane is the plane tangential to the level surface. There are two methods of leveling. The first one is height of instrument method and another one is rise and fall method. Another major terms associated with leveling is benchmark, backside, foresight, height of instrument, reduced level, station, etc. First we will start with benchmark. Benchmark is a permanent point for reference whose elevation with respect to the datum or mean sea level is known. Next is reduced level. Reduced level is the height of any point with respect to either mean sea level or benchmark. Now coming to station is the point where leveling staff is kept. Now coming to height of instrument. Elevation of the plane of sight with respect to assumed datum, it is also known as plane of collimation. What is backsight? Backsight is the reading taken on level staff from a point of which elevation is known or from the benchmark. Foresight is the last reading taken from the instrument. This is all about leveling and the terms associated with leveling. Thank you.